today is Sunday, August 26th. So I wanted to say hi and talk to you guys about the Law of Attraction and how the book The Magic, which is part of the Secret book series, has, um, has worked in my life. So I wanted to, I know I've done a video before, a few months ago, earlier this year, where I was talking about the fastest way to get the things that you want is to be thankful for the things that you already have. So where I was coming from with that topic was at the time I was reading the book The Magic, which looks like this. And it's by, you know, Rhonda Byrne. And again, this is the third book from her The Secret book series. So it started with The Secret, which tells you about the Law of Attraction. Really good book. Then you also had The Power, which talks about the power of love, which is also a form of Law of Attraction. And then you have The Magic, which is her most recent book that came out earlier this year. Probably like I think around either February or March came out and that talks about the magic of gratitude so I'm not going to give away everything that's in the book but I just wanted to I guess share some of my experiences and how this this outlook on life has really affected me and just to show you guys that it works um, so in the book there is one exercise where you basically write a check out for whatever amount of money that you want. Um, let me see if I can find the page for it. But it's like, um, there's a check here in the book that they tell you to make a copy of and you write whatever amount you want. You know, and the bank is, um, I think it's like the bank of the universe or something like that. So I wrote on this check a certain amount of money that I wanted to buy furniture for my apartment at the time because I had just moved and it's funny because I didn't even realize that it had come to pass until la earlier this week earlier last week I should say now when I was rereading the book again and I was like oh my gosh it happened so ugh, trying to find that chapter let me uh let me go into the table of contents here because it when it, when I realized that that's what happened, I was just my mind was blown. Um, magic money, money magnet. Sorry guys, I want to find it and show it to you because it's really really cool and it really really works. Come on, ah here we go. So it's um it's in the title, the magic check. So, sorry, I guess this is kind of a spoiler alert if you guys are reading the book. But if you're reading the book, then you know you're supposed to read one chapter a day anyways. Um, you don't have to, but that's what they recommend. But, so this is day 17. This is the magic check. So, it's, it's a check that they kind of drafted. And like I said, you write the amount of money that you want. So, it looks like this. I can't find I can't find the actual one that I printed out and wrote on but like I said that was back in March I wrote a certain amount of money that I wanted to buy furniture for my apartment okay so then in May for Memorial Day weekend my parents came in town to see my new place and they helped me out and they bought a lot of my furniture and things like that and Looking back on it now, like I said when I was reading the book recently again, I realized that the amount they spent was the amount that I had written on the check. Crazy, right? But it works. And it's also to say there is no time frame for it to happen. You know, I wrote that, that check for that amount in March and didn't even realize in May when it initially happened that it came to pass the end of May. So it took me about, it took about two months for it to come to pass, but it happened. Now, of course, the money didn't come to me, but the money was intended for furniture for my apartment, and that amount of money was spent 
for furniture in my apartment. So it's it's to say it works if you believe it and you really um you really believe it and you really feel it it is real it does happen our thoughts are very powerful and when we are thankful for things we will get more but we live in a world of abundance don't let the news and everybody else try to fool you and make you think differently you can have whatever you want in this life you seriously can you just have to believe it and be thankful for it now so I wanted to share that with you and I can I'll probably share <clears throat> some more different testaments of how the law of attraction has has basically gotten me whatever I wanted um, it's actually working on something else that I want so I don't want to share it just yet but when it happens I will talk about that as well because I know it will so I would say definitely check out the series but the magic is a really really good book um, yeah it just it's different exercises for you to show gratitude for any and everything in your life because everything you have you don't have to necessarily have so the object of the book is for you to count your blessings and be thankful every day not when something gets taken away or not when something changes just be thankful every day for as much as you can so it was really inspiring and as you can see I read it every few months just to kind of refresh myself and keep myself pumped and everything and to remind myself to really be thankful for any and everything that I have and that happens to me every day so trust and believe guys it does work ask believe receive talk to you guys later um i guess my hair really quickly is in a two-strand twist out that i just put up in a little mohawk kind of way um my color is fading i guess that's what happens with semi-permanence i am very new to the coloring world so I'm trying to decide what i want to do i might put henna on top of it so that it is a little bit more reddish or I might just let the purple continue to fade out and just rock it with the blonde in the front for a little while till I figure out what I want to do next because I definitely am not done playing around with color it's been a lot of fun so that was it guys I hope you all had great weekends if you were here in New York City and knew about it the Afropunk festival was going on so I was there yesterday and I saw Erica Badu perform and I learned of some other new artists that I had never heard of and um, I tried to go today to see Janelle Monae but I got there too late and by the time I got there they weren't letting any more people in. Boo. And you know I love Erica but I really 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 wanted to see Janelle Monae perform because I hear she's an amazing performer so oh well there's always next time but it is all good so wishing you all a great work week and i will talk with you guys later be blessed and stay naturally fly bye bye